Welcome to a Let's Play of DJ Max Portable for the PlayStation Portable. Um, this will be interesting because it was corrupt last time, so I'm just going to do bits, hopefully, and just edit those just to make sure they're not corrupt. This is, uh, obviously, it's a music game. Um, if you're familiar with Guitar Hero, then you'll be familiar with how the track works. Um, I think there's a lot of other music games that do the same type of thing. But I'm going to skip this intro video here. And pause the emulation so you don't have to hear that constantly. Um, this is a game from Korea. Um, the PlayStation Portable, if you did not know, does not have region protection. So you don't have to be from Korea to play a Korean game on your PlayStation Portable. Now, don't quote me on this because there might have been a new version made that I don't know about that doesn't run region protected items, but um, I'm pretty sure that PlayStation Portable UMDs do not have region protection. There's English all over the place in this game. The only things that are in Korean are basically uh, notifications that pop up like you just unlocked a new song but it'll be like Korean characters song Korean characters it's, it's easy to figure out this is a rhythm game but it is unique in a lot of ways it's actually one of my favorite games of all time so I highly suggest watching it and seeing what you think of it especially if you like music games of any sort it plays a little different style of songs than most do um, but there are still the typical like there's rock in here there's electronic music there's all sorts of different genres um, I'm just gonna start because I doubt you want to just stare at a blank screen for a while there is four button mode six button and eight button and then this expert mode or so-called expert mode is just playing sets of songs and they're preset. You don't change what it is, it, it's just what it is, and you have to try and make it through it. So I'm just gonna... I want a relatively short video, so I'm just gonna start with six button, my favorite mode. That's right. Oh, oops. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna start with the basic gear so you can actually see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna start with this because right. it's an easy song. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's anything to add. So yeah, it's showing which buttons you have to push. That's right. It's not really easy to get 100%. You have to be dead on. I try and demonstrate it, but it's kind of hard to be off by a millisecond on purpose. There you go, there's an 80%. In fact, I have a feeling that this is a game where I'm going to have to turn up the in-game volume.
So yeah, that was an uh, example of an easy song. That was a level one. Um, they have levels, I'm basically up to nine. That's basically what I can play. Uh, I don't think I'm going to try level ten. I will point out that you hit L and R to speed up and slow down the track. Nice missed note. Yeah, you probably noticed that I started hitting notes when you weren't supposed to hit them. Uh, kind of remixing the song a bit. But yeah, you can hit notes at any time. And unlike other music games, if you mess up, you don't just get like a mess up sound or it not playing your note if you don't hit it at the right time. If you hit the note, you're hitting that sound, whatever it is, and you've probably heard me mess up a few times and, and make the wrong sounds in the song. If you hit too early, you're going to hear the noise too early. If you hit, if you don't hit at all, you're not going to hear the noise at all. Unless there happens to be a backup sound that's basically the same thing. So yeah, it's all about playing accurately. If you don't play accurately, the song's not going to sound any good which is very fitting for a music game. It's I think it's the music game that's done it the best. The long notes that you hold down, I'm going to add before I get into this more. Um, the long notes have an accuracy for when you start and finish them. So you have to start at the exact time and let go at the exact time. Otherwise, you're not going to get 100% on that note. Accuracy is pretty brutal. And I will also add... I don't have my joystick working on this PlayStation 3 controller that I'm using for the emulator. So, I set up L2 and R2, which aren't on the PlayStation Portable, to left and right on the t on the pad. So, there are notes that require you to wiggle the pad around. Basically, I'm just going to be tapping back and forth on the L2 and R2, which is very hard, by the way. So, if I mess up those notes, that's why. Let's see. There's the rock version of what I just played. Let's play an insane trance song and see if I can survive it. Yes, I'm sight reading this. Just 
probably why I'm going to end up losing it in the end. Timing slightly off. That is so hard to sight read. I was missing a lot of those. Yeah, I'm not surprised I didn't beat my score. Uh, yeah. Um, let's see, let's do something a little different. Let's do a funny song. Well, silly song at least. Silly song with the note that goes with it. So this is an example of the notifications. It'll say a little bit of English and a lot of Korean. Sometimes it'll be just Korean and you won't know what you unlocked. But you'll find out eventually. Looks like I got two new high scores and a new record for total high score. The game might have frozen. Either that or it just stops after a short while. I'm kind of betting on the former. But that's fine because I finished my set. feel like I was going to add something. Maybe I'll think of it. Oh, look at that, I get to put my score in. BDG. Board Gaming. Alright, I'm back. I temporarily put the sound at ridiculously low volume, so you don't have to hear this going over and over again all that loud. Um, I was going to point out that 
if you go looking around, if you see this and it interests you, and you go looking around for what versions of DJ Max there are, first off, don't get the international version. Just flat out don't get it. It's a waste of time. The international version tries to censor songs, and it censors at the most ridiculous things. And on top of that, it also makes a very loud beep. So it's very distracting and annoying. On top of that, the international version has taken out two songs. Um, one of them I might actually play for you, so just to see if you can figure out why they took it out. I'm not really sure. Um, the other one, it's very obvious why they took it out. It's called Dreadnought. It's ridiculously hard to unlock. It takes a 14,300 combo, or playing it in the club that it's in, which requires beating a few songs first. It's not that hard to get to. Um, but actually unlocking the song is a pain, especially with how the combo system works, but long story short, it will take you an eternity to get of uh, playing the same songs um, probably 50 plus times in a row without missing a note. Yeah, that's a general idea. Um, the international version takes that stuff out. Also, if you're thinking of getting DJ Max Portable Fever, which says it has songs from this and the second one, or hot tunes or whatever, but it only takes a few select songs out, and um, it adds in Fever and a few other things. Um, I kind of like this game for its simplicity. And also, um, in general, this version has the best songs. And it's not just my opinion, it seems to be pretty commonly thought that DJ Max Portable, the first one, was the best one of the ones made so far. If the crazy amount of button pushing that I'm doing scares you away, just keep in mind that I've been playing it for years, and I've put a lot of hours into it. I've put more hours into it than most people put into RPGs. And there are people that play considerably better than me. There's people that play at 100% accuracy on every single note for level 13 songs, which are just insane. I don't think I showed you in this version of the video how insane those are. Um, just imagine notes falling down everywhere. It's insane. It's ridiculous. I also don't think I mentioned that there is a freestyle mode where you can just go in and you can play whatever level of song you want. You pick one. Um, they changed it in the newer versions in DJ Max 2 and later. They changed it so you can just push a button to switch which difficulty you're doing, the, whether it's four buttons or six buttons or whatever. They changed that, so... In this one, basically, if I want to do four-button mode and I'm in six-button freestyle, I just exit out and go back in. It's... It's not that tedious. Um... Alright. I'm gonna increase the sound back up to its level for the for the game itself, and I'm gonna play one of the two songs that got removed. The second song, it's really obvious. It makes fun of George Bush. Um, if you want to look it up and watch it yourself, it's called Dreadnought. I'm not going to play it because it takes a little while to get to the unlock, and the video is probably long enough as is. So let's move on to Fever GJ which got removed. And let's see if you can figure out why it was removed.
That was my pathetic playing of it. Ninety six point eight percent ends up being pathetic. It's cause there's so many few notes. Yeah. That song got removed. I don't know. Maybe it was some politics about the artist. I don't know. So yeah, that's DJ Max. I hope you have a good rest of your day. I'm going to have a hell of a time editing this. I will see you next time. Hopefully this video isn't corrupt like the last one. I've had quite a day trying to record stuff. Goodbye.